My name is Ton. I studied uh, graphic design in art school a long time ago. And I graduated with that. Uh, then I had my diploma in my hands. And I thought, goodbye graphic design, I'm going to be an artist. We used to call ourselves the spaghetti trio because it's just like a big plate of spaghetti. A lot of ideas going to each other, it's a chaos, and sometimes we have to pull the stuff separate and just, just to get a helicopter view again. Okay, what, what are we doing now? Because sometimes it gets fuzzy. And sometimes it's pure shit, but <laughs> that happens. <laughs> Crazy, the three crazy guys uh, of Studio Smuck, they are, um, they are creating amazing work and they are totally uh, people of the time uh, with their um, technology-driven visuals. I'm, uh, I'm Bela, I'm actually the third leg of the Studio Smack uh, machine. So it was the first time when we really worked together on a project which kind of crossing borders without interesting fields of us. And uh, I got to know him after that and we stick together and we start to um, meet each other every Friday. That's how I also met Tom. So that's how I start to grow kind of uh, common interest and, and a group, actually. That's why we used to call ourselves a band. Yeah, I, I think uh, a, band is a, a band is a good metaphor for our, the way we work together. Tony is the, is the band leader, singer and clearest vision of uh, where we need to go and uh, in, in, in a project. Uh, so I think my, my job is to uh, animate uh, research uh, technique and uh, render out characters. Bela designed and I'm from, from start to, uh, to the end, from, from putting everything together to uh, rendering it out. So we made a lot of uh, works about advertising that deal with advertising but in an artistic way as our fascination has always been about influencing uh, a big mass of people. So mass behavior uh, became a, also a big influence and we made this music video, uh, it is called uh, Witch Doctor for the Dutch band uh, The Staat. The music video became such a big hit that uh, in the Netherlands every time the band performed live and they did uh, the, the song. Uh, the people in the, in the crowd started to replicate what we had made in the music video, which to me is uh, one of the biggest compliments you can get as an artist because it's uh, life is imitating art. Witch doctor. Years later, we, uh, we read this quote that said, uh, the real question is not 
how many ads do we see every day? The real question is, what do we have to do to see no ads? And the answer is go to sleep. What would happen if we could advertise in the subconscious of people in their dreams? Every, every part is hard of being an artist, so it's always struggling and um, thinking of ideas and uh, throwing a lot of ideas away. Actually, it's always hard, but it's also a lot of fun, and I think, uh, I think it's always a combination of talent and working really hard. If, if you want to be a good, successful artist, you just have to work hard. I can't imagine any artist uh, having it really easy. So uh, paradise is also, uh, it's also about mass behavior uh, and it's also about advertising. You see a lot of advertising coming back uh, in this moving, moving picture as we call it. Uh, Jeroen Bos has, has always been an inspiration uh, to us even before we started on this project. There are always images of Jeroen Bos in, in the research we do for every project. He works with uh, symbolism and making, uh, making a mirror to society. Uh, and I think that if Jeroen Bos would be alive nowadays, he would probably use moving images. Because if you take a look at his original work, you have to read it like, like, almost like a, like a comic. You have to read it from up to down and you have to the left panel, middle panel, right panel. So it almost reads like a comic, so it's a, it has the suggestion of time. A Paradise for me started with doing a lot of research, doing a lot of sketches, walking around and shouting ideas and repeating that process with my colleagues and friends for, for several times until you get an idea of where it's uh, going. Paradise, it took a long time to, to get to the decision, okay, how close we stay to the original. And finally we, we decided, okay, we want to stay close to the original, that when people look at our work, they still can recognize, okay, it has to do something with the original. This, this is a kind of uh, update from the, the Bosch uh, painting. It was also kind of honor, our honor to, to Bosch, because he's one of our heroes still today. And, um, so we wanted to show, okay, we based this on his painting, translated it to 2016 and what are the uh, temptations of our time. And if you take a look at the details, you can see a lot of referencing to uh, products and our relationship to those products. For example, the, the meat pig. And, uh, it's very strange how we relate to uh, uh, especially meat, because the last time that I saw a pig is quite, a, quite some time ago, but the last time that I saw stacked meat uh, in, in a supermarket was yesterday. Another example is the, uh, the Venus of Willendorf. The Venus of Willendorf is probably the oldest fertility art piece sculpture that we know. And maybe Kim Kardashian is one of the newest sculptures that we know, because the surgeons that helped her shape into what she is right now could be compared to the people that made the first fertility uh, statue called the Venus of Willendorf. I know them for, uh, for a longer time. I already worked with them for about 10 years, I think, with the museum, they made, they made crazy uh, animations and they were the ones who had to do the, the biggest piece of paradise of, uh, of uh, the Jeromisch Bos, Time der Lusten. Uh, making the connection for them with Jeromisch Bos, who says the same sort of crazy person, I think it's perfect because they, I think they are the same sort of people 
and one was living 500 years ago and they are living in this, in this crazy time of internet, technology and, and, and visual culture. People also recognize some behavior and they saw their self sometimes in a project or they recognize their own behavior in the project and that was also good to hear because that's that's also what, it, what it's about, that we, we, we see things in the world and then it becomes a kind of uh, mirror. It's, we also told that we don't want to make a mirror, but, but it's good to see when it works and people react to it. They recognize something in it. Some people became angry, uh, some people found it brilliant or, or funny. So right now we are working on the help panel. Um, we also did a lot of research, a lot of sketching. Uh, but the most important thing in the research was to understand what, what is a hell. Because there are, through the ages, have been several interpretations of hell. And to me, hell is actually very close to morality. And morality always changes through the ages. And the original picture uh, by uh, Jeroen Bos was made 500 years ago. So the morality in that time was very different. So for us, we, we wanted to research what morality nowadays, especially Western uh, morality means, and make uh, an inverse version of that. Because I think that hell is actually an inverse version of morality. Uh, so hell is a compressed landscape when you compare it to paradise, but but that makes it even more difficult because we have much less information of hell and of the background and it's really chaotic and sometimes we really have to look hard. And first we took out all the figures and tried to figure out okay, what's in the background and how it's built up. And while at Paradise it was real clear and, and uh, too good to see how, how it was built, hell is really fuzzy and uh, you have a lot of things which are in lights, but a lot of things uh, falling into shadows, so you have much less information. So we have to fill it much more in from our own uh, imagination, and that's difficult to keep the same distance from the original, just like at Paradise. And it's more chaotic, of course, because it's the hell. It's, it's really difficult because they're, they're, while Paradise is about temptation, this is really about punishment. So everybody is an individual in hell and gets his individual punishment based on the sins the person had in his or her life. And although uh, they are all individuals, all the individuals are put in this community of different sinners. So this is a part of the, the making, some, making up some ideas uh, for the characters and how we can uh, uh, categorize them and uh, how we can build them. And I, we used to make the three of us some, some, uh, some drafts with, with the end, old school, with a pencil to, to make a fast check if it's, if, if it's something or, or it's, it's bullshit. But it's still a lot of work for searching for ideas which are really fitting in our uh, hell. And uh, again, it's, it's a kind of searching the balance that uh, people understand it. So it's the searching for a balance between some poetical, uh, metaphorical way, but it's still understandable. It's always a lot of work. So uh, here we have um, a case with uh, inside the motion capture suit. So you can record all the movements uh, as a motion capture data, and we can connect it to uh, the models we've made in, uh, for hell. Everyone's in a lot of pain in hell, uh, physical or, uh, or mentally. And uh, to act that out or to show that they are in pain, we need special movements, like really theatrical movements. Uh, we can't uh, find online or recreate on, uh, in 3D software, so we have to act them out. What I was looking now with the... But they are moving in an S form, like this. Yeah. Uh, my my idea is that they are coming from the city in the background to us, just like the refugees from Africa to Europe or something. And from this point, they're moving like an S yeah. indeed. Okay. 
And as long as I look to the original, I start to see some bigger lines in it. So like, is, is this is one level and this is another level. Mm -hmm. And of course he, he had it pretty easy because it's not so big here. So he just made kind of sand and when you fill it with figures, it's full. But we have much more space. We have to define it better than, than he uh, better. We have to define it more than, than he did. That's very important in our work. We don't, we don't try to judge. We, we don't want to say this is wrong. We're not judgmental. And so we want other people when they view our work, uh, we want to uh, make up their own, their own minds. Uh, we want to be reflective, be a, like a, a mirror. We just want to show how they are to the people that they make up their own mind about it. But hell is about punishment. So it's really uh, hard to keep a kind of balance, okay, how we select punishments in the hell, which are not connected with our own emotions. So that's why we really look into the world and try to figure out with, with the news and which we see on the internet, okay, what, what are now the, the bad guys who we can put in the hell? but not because we think that they are the bad guys, it's because the world thinks. So that, that, that are a lot of, lot of difficult decisions which we have to go through and that's, it, it's pretty much a hell to, <laughs> to work on hell, actually.